next stop is as Gaston, the unfortunate third wheel in the live-action Disney movie Beauty and the Beast. It opens in theaters March 17th. Please welcome Luke Evans. <laughs> If I'm wrong, but I heard you flew in from Shanghai. To we be here. did, yeah, yeah, last last night. So, uh, so are you? How long is that flight from Shanghai? It, what it, I think about 11 hours, but you land two hours bef earlier than you take off, so you go back in time a little bit because of the time difference. Oh, yes, oh wow. Yes. So, are you okay? Are you? I'm fine. Yes. Yeah, so you're not going to say anything that would potentially be career-ending. Possibly. Okay. Good. <laughs> I am Welsh. So you're, oh we do yes, have, you're we do from have Wales. A a Catherine Zeta-Jones was here last oh, night. She is also from woman. Wales. Yeah. 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 What's it like to be from Wales? Um, <laughs> that's a weighted question. Isn't it? Yeah. Is this your? Have you seen the Beauty and the Beast? This live action version. I of have it, seen it with yeah. an audience yet. Yeah, we saw it in London. We did a screening in London, and my family came up from Wales. They let them out for a, for a night. Oh, know? they did. How many came people in your family came up to see it? About fourteen of them. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, wow. Yeah. That's yeah, a, that's yeah. quite a group. And uh, it was great. We we got to see it with an audience because we've only been watching it as screenings. You know, with just the cast and crew and stuff. Right. And, People were clapping after the, the numbers like it was a live show. It was extraordinary. Oh, because it's a musical on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. they clapped after the Gaston number. It's a huge production number. So. Is this the first musical you've been in? On screen, yes. On screen? Because I, I have a, a musical theater background. Oh, you do? Okay, yeah, very I good. Yeah, uh, I nine, did nine years on the, on the boards in the West End of London. So. Oh, really? When yeah. did you start doing that? How old were you when you start like, singing I... in front of people? Oh, in front of people? I was, oh, God, I was about 10, I think. Oh, 10? Yeah, we used to, because I come from a little village in South Wales, very small place, and um, we used to have these competitions. They used to be in these places called rugby clubs. They're like um, working men's clubs, basically, and they used to have competitions and stuff. And um, when I was 10, I remember going to do one, and the, the pianist... His name was Byron, <laughs> and uh, he, he, you got money for it. Yeah, I won it, actually, but uh, what the, we turned up, and he had two fingers missing, and he was the pianist. <laughs> so Danny <laughs> Boy, which was, my, which was my number, my winning number, uh, was missing a lot of important chords. <laughs> <laughs> so my training was fantastic, but I got 500 quid for it. it wow. Pound, yeah? that's, a, that's a lot that's, of money. That's a lot of money for a 10-year-old. That's a lot of money. And for, I wonder what the eight-fingered pianist got for <laughs> playing along with you. I think he's still doing it. <laughs> his day job, <laughs> you have to know what his day job was. He was a pest control guy. He was. And we found out that he lost his fingers in a rat trap. Oh, oh my god. Oh, the rats must have been laughing their asses. <laughs> 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 in a in rat a trap. In a rat trap. Were yeah. they? Oh, okay, I don't. I guess. No, let's not go into. I don't want to get into too much into, the, into his deformity. But um, anyway, back to Disney movies. Um, yeah. <laughs> back to family, that family film. Before you, I assume you auditioned for a movie like this. Yeah. Is that how it works? Yeah, I did. I had to go in and sing for Bill Condon, the, the director of the film. The yeah. director of the movie. Yeah. He. Uh, I get. He wanted to see everybody. I mean, I right. saw a lot of. People going in and out before. So me. before you do that, do you watch the animated version, the, the original version of Beauty and the Beast? I and did. Have that in your head? Yeah, I watched it with my godchildren because I sort of forgot the track of um, Gaston. It's actually a brilliant role, you know. He, he's uh, he's a bit of a monster, but he's funny and you laugh at him quite a lot as yeah, well. Yeah, he's a funny monster. Yeah. yeah, but I can sing, and I, it was like a brilliant moment because like, you know you, you go in these auditions, you're always feeling very self-conscious. You know, you're not very good at something and you try try to cover it up but this one i knew i could do it i was like i can sing this track and i'm gonna blow him away and you he sat like... literally as close to me as you <laughs> it was do you stand his... <laughs> when you sing or do you yeah of course oh, yes. Yes. so yeah, he's yeah. just sitting there this close he, to you literally and i'm standing in front of him like this singing out gaston my number really yeah yeah, yeah it was very why fun. would he do that do you think it was he a was strategy trying to intimidate me I was he really yeah, yeah, yeah. no he's not that kind of person but uh, i intimidated him you did yeah that, well sure that you was were the up point. there he's down here of course <laughs> wow that's unbelievable well and then so you make this movie and josh gad is in the movie yeah he's very funny he's very funny yeah. and, and you and you have all these magical little things that happen in the film which has to be a lot of fun to see on yeah screen. i mean yeah it's crazy most of the the magic you see in the, the finished product, you never see it when you're actually shooting it. It's just right. like a polystyrene ball or yeah. absolutely nothing. We all know how it works. Yeah, We're not, you know, you know this is not a group of dummies right here. We no. know what's going on. Exactly. We're out buying our girlfriend tops, you name it. We... Right. <laughs> Sorry, honey.
Is it true that your fan, that you have a group of fans, and this is, I think, I think you know when you really have something, when your fans give themselves a name. Yeah, they do, yeah. They call themselves the Lucateers. The Lucateers. Because I was a musketeer, and uh, I was one of the musketeers in a movie we did a few years back, yeah. And they just, they named themselves. And the themselves. other two guys, none of their fans call themselves the anything I have no clue what they call them, but uh, mine's the Lucateers. You're the Lucateers. Yeah, they're the everywhere. They're international, yeah. They're do they follow the you around, the Lucateers? Yeah. yeah, they're airports, and they're very nice. Is right? there a headquarters that they <laughs> gather in? I think it's called Twitter. Hey, Twitter, okay. Yeah, yeah. You don't have conventions like <laughs> Lucateer, like meeting groups Maybe or one anything? day. Yeah, well, why not? I have let's, a career left. Let's, <laughs> you could stand there and sing to them while they're really close to you, it would be totally, fantastic. Yeah, I can totally do that. Well, congratulations on the movie. It Thank came you. out really great. It's yeah. called Beauty and the Beast. It opens the theaters on March 17th. That's Luke Evans, everybody. We'll be right back with Tuxedo.